All right, welcome to this episode of Zook Outdoors. Uh, this is with my son Marlon in the great state of Ohio. November the 4th, the rut is in high gear, and unfortunately, um, the deer moved in in the dark. Right after we got in the stand, we were pinned down and just slowly, you know, getting our things ready. We had does kind of all around us. It was calm and still couldn't move around. Um, so I didn't get as much footage of deer as I would have liked. But nonetheless, yeah, it was a great hunt. He was able to get a, a fine eight pointer and just, yeah, one for the books. A great memory preserved. So come along. I think you're gonna enjoy what you're about to see. Don't let him see you. in Ohio with my son Marlon. And we are in a couple hang-ons. Um, and we had deer come in in the dark. And we weren't fully ready. I was holding the crossbow. And this doe comes in on our trail just stomping, stomping, stomping the whole way in. She stands here about 10 yards. Another one comes into the base of our tree and is stomping at our draw rope, like our pull-up rope. And uh, I couldn't move. I couldn't get the camera out. I couldn't get the boat down to my son. I couldn't get it cranked back. And after about 45 minutes, now it was light. We finally 
finally, I was able to get the bow back, cranked back, get an arrow knocked, get it down to my son. But not before a nice eight point came in. Um, and I knew it was going to happen. We had, I think, four does and fawns. Um, it was two adult does and two fawns. And then this eight point chased, I think, two more does into us. So that was a total of seven deer. But he did shoot the buck, so I'll go down. And then we were going to try and shoot a doe because he's got a doe tag. But we got to. He's got some things to learn. He needs to learn not to move and to be still when the deer are looking. So, nonetheless, it's been an extremely exciting morning. It's been action packed, just bam, bam. Um, but yeah, we'll go see what he has to say. I usually do an opening right away, but we were just pinned down. We couldn't move. The deer were all around us. Well, we waited a little bit, um, gave his deer a little bit of time. It's probably 45 minutes after he shot or half an hour or something. But uh, I went ahead and got down out of the tree. And there's the happy hunter. He's working on it. There's our two stands. Of course, I was in the top one. And uh, Marlon was down below me. Try to teach them how to use a safety harness. You know, I have a variety of tree stands I use. It's nice to have the comfortable box blinds. And it's nice to have, um, teach my kids how to use hang-ons and all that good stuff how to safely ascend and descend, or at least endeavor to teach him that. I just saw his arrow, the bolt, say. Go ahead, pick it up. Let's see how it looks. I can't smell any stink on it looks relatively clean so yeah we'll, we'll pick up the trail and see what we find well we got on the blood trail so we're gonna follow it and see if it leads us to his buck we just found his buck so I'm hoping my camera battery holds out somehow I uh, did forgot to bring an extra battery with me. So I'll go around this tree. Yep, there's a fresh scrape. We might have worked that this morning. Big splot on the tree. Congratulations. 
That's a fine buck for 11 year old, isn't it? All right. We went in at the dark and some does and fawns came in. This one dog got real mad at her trail, stomping around like crazy. But a bunch of other does came in. My dad told me he was pretty sure a buck would come. And then eventually there was more and more does would come. And suddenly some does more up top ran away. My dad said, there's a buck coming. And he came running down, running a couple times and started chasing the does a little bit. And he came at 10 yards, but I wasn't able to shoot him there. Then he went out farther and shot him there. Yeah, congratulations. That was a tense hunt, wasn't it? Yep. All right. Well, this is a pretty special occasion, special moment. Uh, I, I bought this property this spring. Um, and actually, Marlon was with me when I looked at it, his older brother, oldest son, Caleb. And uh, we looked at the property and decided to buy it. It's almost nine acres, not quite, um, at the edge of city limits. And while it's not a, a matured buck or a big buck by any means, it's a great buck for an 11-year-old, isn't it? Yeah. It's a fun hunt. Um, it's what it's all about, you know, making memories and getting these boys some experience, getting some hunts under their belt. And as they grow older and they want to up the game a little bit, they can do that. Um, but until then, we're we're after deer, and we're gonna shoot them, aren't we? Yeah. Very good. Good shot. He made an excellent shot. Double lunged the buck. I uh, was very proud of him for that. And. Uh, we didn't do so well with all the does pinned around us. They caught our movement sometimes, so he's he's learning um, how to be still. And it's just all in all a great hunt. So we got a lot of things I want to do today since I'm out of state um, with the different different uh, different projects got going on. So I don't think we're gonna head home. Uh, maybe we'll do some hunting tonight. I. I'm a little disappointed I forgot to bring an extra camera battery, but anyway, this is great, isn't it? Yep. It's what we came for. Thanks so much for watching. We got some more rut action coming up next week, and hopefully, you know, before the end of the season here, we get some more deer on the ground, some more bucks shot, and we're on the, the last week of the season, so I'm not sure what week this will be posted for y'all to be watching. I'm sure it'll be, you know, the end of November or December sometime. But nonetheless, it's been a great season and just maybe we'll fill a few more tags and have some more videos for y'all to watch. So stay tuned, please like and subscribe and we really appreciate it.